Hi there, I'm Brian Breaker, editor of Ad Age, and you are watching Remotely Entertaining. We are remote here at Mobile World Congress, day two. Today we're gonna to be talking about 5G with Aisha Evans. She's the head of corporate strategy for Intel. Uh, she has a lot to say about what 5G is, what it isn't, what's coming next, what to expect, and what not to expect. But first, a word from our sponsor. I wanna thank Quantcast. Stick around, this is quick six seconds, and then we're back. Very pleased to be joined by Aisha Evans. She is the head of corporate strategy at Intel. Uh, and we're gonna be talking about some of the big themes that have emerged here already. Uh, one of them is 5G, which is something near and dear to Aisha's heart, and IoT. A lot of people are talking about it. It's hard to see what they are. All right, so first of all, we go to the past. Yeah. Uh, you, most people know about uh, 3G and 4G, which is LTE. Right. Uh, what people don't realize is between 3G and 4G, we went from just voice mm -hmm. to uh, getting access to the internet. Right. That enabled the apps and everything you're able to do today that you used to be able to go do physically. Right. And that's what the iPhone basically did. It that's made basically what it made possible. And other smartphones. And other so smartphones. Now there's a next generation of activities mm -hmm. that is coming because there's so much data, mm -hmm. and this data we cannot transfer without the next generation of technology, which is 5G. So, so I'll give you an example. Please Video. Do. Yeah. Right now, okay, we all have our little selfie videos mm -hmm. and our little, but when you're really talking about 3D video, 4K, when you're talking about VR, which is also coming, right. without 5G and its bandwidth, we wouldn't be, we will not be able to uh, basically transmit that. We defined 5G to sit on top of existing technology. Okay. So actually 4G is part of 5G, we're not replacing it, mm -hmm. we're just covering frequencies and bands that basically it cannot cover. So think about there are holes in the air, uh -huh. we're covering those holes with 5G, but that's it, we're so not replacing. What does this mean for the consumer? What does it mean for the business professional, whether it's a marketer or um, other brands? So I, I, we'll start with the consumer. Mm -hmm. I mean, the explosion of video was still only at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So the consumer will really be able to benefit from that standpoint, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to virtual reality and augmented reality, which is going to be part of our lives in the future, sure. in how we learn, how we get information, create or consume. Mm -hmm. uh, autonomous things coming onto the network. Mm -hmm. uh, cars are gonna have an incredible amount of data. There are a lot of cars here. That's why you yep. see the cars, yep. because they are data hogs. Yeah. And, and they the, are mobile. <laughs> and in nature, yep. and then obviously it doesn't stop there. You see some robots, right? right. Uh, drones are part of the equation. Right. So we have all of these machines coming onto the network, and instead of them taking away from the consumers, we're adding the cap the coverage and capacity so that the machines can coexist on the network. Fantastic. And you mentioned Intel. You are uh, head of strategy at Intel. Mm -hmm. Intel has been in the news in so far as making this pivot from PC centric to data centric. That's a big shift. Uh, is that fixing a problem or is that a, a new mentality for you guys? What, um, what's the, the thinking there? It is evolving with the times. Exactly. I think it's Lou Gershner who said, elephant can dance. Uh -huh. uh, we're very, very proud of what we accomplished uh -huh. for the world with the PC. Uh -huh. uh, it's been a great franchise for us. And by the way, it continues to be a great business. Mm -hmm. But now the world is evolving to a next wave, which is all centered around data, yeah. the availability of it, the analytics around it, the insights you gain, and then the action you take. You hear about artificial intelligence, you hear about the machines coming onto the network. This is all a data-driven world. So it's just us evolving with the times, and data has to be processed, analyzed, stored, and used to be smart and to make decisions. That's what we're good at. And 5G is good at that. 5G has to move the data around. I always say the machines don't have eyes, right. so there's cameras, and then cameras have a feed, they don't have ears or mouth, they can't talk, right. so speakers, natural languages, and 5G moves the data they around. They don't have a heart either, what replaces the heart? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I say to human beings, yeah. AI is gonna be something that's additive, nothing can replace the human heart. All right, well, thank you, Aisha. Would you like to play a game? Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. We're gonna play a game that we at Ad Age like to play, straight fire or total crap. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start with something in your wheelhouse, 5G as a hotspot system. Okay, what does that mean and why? Because we're gonna have to make the connection available. Right. Uh, we're gonna have to outfit, like today, mm -hmm. you have your Wi-Fi hotspots, you have base stations, mm -hmm. so frankly, without hotspots, there is no 5G. The edge network. Oh. 
Uh, and why is that? Because that's where the machines live. Right. And because a lot of processing is going to be done internally as opposed to going directly to the cloud. And that's essentially the edge. Okay. So we are obviously here talking about phones a lot. It's the Mobile World Congress. But I have a soft spot for the rotary phone, so I'm going to ask you. <laughs> rotary phones, thumbs up, thumbs down. You need to evolve with the times. It's now decoration. <laughs> but it's cool. Decoration. Phone booths? Same deal, no phone booth, no Superman. No, I'm giving you hot spots. <laughs> <laughs> Superman can stay on the roof. <laughs> what about E.T. phoning home? Oh, okay, that's all, the heart, of like course. That. Yes, we all like that, yes. Uh, wireless charging, something we hear about when it comes to 5G a little bit. I would say eventually that, because uh, we still carry a lot of chargers and batteries, and we, we had to fix that. So is that? Far off in the distant? Or Probably next generation, next generation in terms of ubiqu ubiquitous. 6G? No, a 5G plus. Is there going to be a 6G? I guess someday. Of course there is. <laughs> we got to keep ourselves busy, wireless experts. <laughs> uh, how about deploying 5G on the existing infrastructure, which is something Oh, that's definitely, yes. Has, this have is, to do that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not worth it. I mean, it, econ the economics won't work. Okay. Yeah. That's great. I think you won the game. Thank you very much. I Thank didn't you, realize I this was about winning or losing. You should have told me. Well, when you're involved, we're always winning. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it.